All right, so I kind of want to show you uh, an interactive EPUB. Very handy little bit of technology. I have a, one of my main clients is a government client, and we needed some EPUBs for e-learning, but obviously we don't want to go through the iTunes bookstore because some of the stuff is, it's not classified, but it's stuff that you would want the general public to know. And obviously there's generic information in here because I obviously can't show you stuff that would be for the client because again of what I just said but the cool thing about interactive EPUBs is obviously we have our regular text that reflows our graphics um, again you can use this on the iPhone iPad very handy but with the new EPUBs you can also do things like embed video directly into it which is very handy so you know that's something that's great but you can also do things like add in uh, a flex slider like I did here. So basically any plugin that you would use for jQuery, you can now put in EPUBs. And again, very handy, especially something like this flex slider because I can make a nice little gallery um, and it's going to fit the sizes. Now granted, um, you know, obviously this for a client, I would, uh, and, you know, make some changes in here in the CSS just so it fits a little better, all that good stuff. And it wouldn't be these pictures, but you know what I'm saying. The, the general idea is, is here for you. Um, it's a pretty nice little bit of technology. and Pretty much anything you want to do, any type of uh, um, slider or, or gallery or any other plugin that you would do with jQuery, you can now put in an EPUB. I mean, that's, you really can't beat that. That's really nice. And like I said, uh, if you need to go around the iTunes bookstore for whatever reason, now you have something that you can use in it. It was literally as simple as um, you know, making an EPUB, uh, unzipping it, going through changing some doc types, putting a little JavaScript in, a little HTML in. I should say jQuery, not JavaScript. Um, and then, you know, re-zipping it up as an EPUB. And you have something here that you can put in on an LMS or on a server somewhere uh, for your clients. It's very nice, very handy, and like I said, very simple to do. If you have any questions about it, drop me a line. There's a lot of good stuff out there about it. I'll probably make a tutorial on, you know, walking through the process, but it is pretty simple. Um, and But I'll make a tutorial in the future. So if you have any questions, drop me a line. Have a good one.